there's kind of a, a period of time, if you will, between 65 to 67, and that you already referenced that right. uh, without us putting a date to it, if you will. Yeah, so, you know, depending on when you were born, if you were born after, what is it, 55, uh, 1955? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. um, each year after that, you're, you're kind of – they basically put it out of – it looks like when you look at the scale like a month – each year is an additional month of social security or uh, that you have to wait to take full social security benefits. But uh, that's when you can pull your full retirement benefit from social security. And, you know, that, that amount uh, only goes up with, you know, as they raise the inflation uh, benefit right. um, with your social security. And that's, that's a date that, you know, if you can wait for in many cases, not all cases, but in many cases, that's a, uh, when a lot of people want to take Social Security, there's there's times where it makes sense to take it earlier. But, uh, um, you know, we try to focus in on that date a lot of times when mm -hmm. we're planning for somebody. Definitely, definitely. And then you don't have limitations on your income at that level. Once you hit right. full retirement age, then you can make as much money and you're not penalized. Right. As much money as you, mm -hmm. you would like. So, uh, and... Now, there was some changes made under the SECURE Act, and the SECURE Act was a provision that's come out here in the last few years um, out of COVID, if you will, and mm -hmm. uh, that period of time. And um, they, in essence, moved back the required minimum distribution. Yes, the age. RMDs. Yes. That's the people in our industry throw in out RMD, and I'll say that to a customer, and they kind of look at me like I'm talking about right. some kind of uh, – nuclear weapon or something exactly. like that um but it's uh you know that's that that is required minimum distributions which means that the irs is requiring you to start taking distributions and pay taxes on that money. On, on the money that is in your retirement account and that's yes just not just iras but also any other money that you may have in a defined contribution plan or retirement plan now uh, you may there is a provision that if you're still working, you may continue to contribute to the IRA past age 70 and a half under the Secure Act, as mm. long as, as long as you meet the earned income um, uh, requirements, meaning right. you have to have an earned income in order to make a contribution. So, right. Um, uh, so anyway, if it used to be 70 and a half, but now it's age 72. Correct. Um, all right. So. And uh, I, I believe. There was a window of time between the Secure Act where if you turn 70 and a half, you may be able to wait and you can't. I think we're to the date now where everybody has to wait till right. age or can't, you know, waits till age 72 is when mm. their required minimum distributions kick yeah. in. So if you're listening to this or have a parent or relative friend that's uh, going through these age birthdays, especially mm -hmm. this one, you want to make sure that you're not losing out on anything you're supposed to get but you also when it comes down to taking your rmd you want to make sure you take it out because you don't want to be penalized right